Biofilms are essentially groups of bacterial cells, communities that are encapsulated in a matrix that the cells themselves produce. They can actually secrete something that will modify their environment. It's something for them to stick onto, such as a rock in a stream, or to stick onto your teeth, and that's where we get plaque from. What we are trying to do is to take a naturally occurring evolutionary technology that bacteria use to create their own structures so that they can survive and actually repurpose that for our own ends. The concept of the microbial factory has been out there for a while, but what we're really trying to do that takes it a step further is not only use the microbe as a factory for the production of raw building blocks, but also uh, program that cell to orchestrate the assembly of those building blocks into higher order structures and then maintain that material over time. We call our technology BIND, uh, which stands for Biofilm Integrated Nanofiber Display. And what that essentially means is that we have programmed bacteria to be able to produce living materials in the form of bacterial biofilms. And the way it works is we genetically program the bacterium to produce artificial protein. This protein is a fusion protein composed of an amyloid domain fused to a functional peptide domain. And we can mix and match that peptide for whatever end function we want. The cells produce this protein within themselves and then secrete it through various biosynthetic machinery components into the extracellular space. It then is nucleated at the cell surface to form something called amyloid fibers, which are essentially these self-assembled protein structures that form fibrils. These proteins will stack on top of each other, much like Lego blocks will fit into one another, and they'll keep on growing until we actually generate fibers that are microns in length. The fibrils eventually grow large enough to encapsulate the cells in kind of a meshwork. And this meshwork is the biofilm material that we are engineering. What we show in our paper is that this basic mechanism of secreting different versions of this protein is actually extremely versatile. So and this can be useful for a variety of different uh, applications. And that can be anything from uh, pollutants like heavy metals or other pesticides and organic pollutants that you want to remove from a water supply or valuable things that you want to recover, for example, precious metals or, or rare earth metals that are used, uh, mined for uh, high-tech applications. And you can do this in a truly scalable way. You can make as much of this material as you want uh, from just a tiny test tube. And it basically contains living factories that reproduce.